pain. Just a little discomfort. Show me where. Right there. I'm going to put my hand just a little bit high, okay? Tell me when the discomfort's gone. She probably ain't moved like that for some years. <laughs> demonic power, you cannot stay out in Jesus' name. Don't move until it's all gone. What's going on now? No pain? Now you can move. You won't feel no pain. Go ahead. Move. What do you want to do? Sit down, baby. of the jawbone and they say there's no cure for it. I uh, have uh, both shoulders that need to be operated on. Because of? I, 13 years ago I came down with cancer, multiple myeloma and uh, I uh, two years into that the doctor told my wife I might make it six months Oh, yeah. Yeah. Faith, faith. And um, I was taking uh, various kinds of heavy dose medicine. Yeah. And uh, this is side effects from the <coughs> yes, and um, deterioration of my bones is due to the medication and everything <laughs> that I'm on. Also, I have five ruptured discs. In my back. Does that hurt too? Yes. Push your butt to the back. Do you believe God's going to do a miracle for you? Sure, I do. He, he looked at me like stupid question. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't mind that. Wait, I'll let me help you. I was in Missouri doing a minister's meeting. A woman comes up, she has a glass eye, it's gray. The other eye is blue, she sees on I said, do you believe God? Oh, I said to her, oh, you're blind. She says, no. I just can't see. <laughs> <laughs> That's just to rebuke me. Rebuke me anytime. Because when I prayed for her, her glass eye became a real eye in her eyeball. So, Daddy, you can look at me like that and say, Of course, I'm going to be here. <laughs> you ready? Yeah. Push your butt to the back, lift up both your legs. How old are you, Daddy? 73. <laughs> yeah, relax him. Let him go straight. There you go. You ready, Daddy? Mm hmm. Tell me when all the back pain's bad. You said you had how many discs? Okay, in the name of Jesus, I suspend time. 
I command the five O dis disappear. Lord, let the angel that has the, the, uh, the power to go to the body parts room bring daddy five brand new discs. I command those discs, the old discs disappear. Brand new discs be physically created in his spine now. I command the pain and the region for the pain go now. Lord, let him feel his leg grow. There it goes. Pow. Three, two, one. Was your back bothering you a second ago, Dad? Yes. What's going on now? It's not hurting right now. That part's healed. You ready for the next part? Yes. He says it's not hurting right now. He said, no matter what the medicine do, God can do some miracles. Yes. Shall we go with this first? Yes. Okay. He, you know, Daddy's 70. I'm 56. I'm sorry. 73. 73. <laughs> I'm saying, get it right, little whippersnapper. <laughs> I like that, but when I turn 73, that's how I'm going to behave. <laughs> get it right, grasshopper. Remember the show Kung Fu, grasshopper? <laughs> Will you guys stretch forth your hands to pray? Lord, thank you for daddy. Lord, thank you for faith like this. For a man of God like this. For a brother like this in Jesus. Lord, he needs a creative miracle right here. Lord, grant it to him right now. Lord, let the angel touch him. Let the spirit of God go through him. Let the pain and the reason for the pain depart. Lord, give him his voice back. Lord, let the pain in his shoulders begin to disappear. I command the bones to be recreated right now. supernatural strength in his bones, his muscles, and his legs. Tell me when all pain's gone in, the, in, in your neck and your shoulders. God's doing something right now. Stretch forth your hands. Ask God to make him stronger and stronger. Lord, make him stronger and stronger. Stronger and stronger. Stronger and stronger. All over in Jesus' name.
daddy. Thank you. Time me to pray for you again. Put your butt to the back. Got your shoes on now? Yes, sir. Okay. Now, don't pray. See, the, the more spiritual people are, the harder it is to keep from praying. Do you realize that your left leg is about an inch and a half shorter than your right? Do you remember when I asked for people with short arms and short legs? How can you answer if you don't know? Oh, this is what's really going to get you. You ready? You're going to feel it grow. Don't pray. Chill out and relax. <laughs> Open up your eyes. Chill out and relax. This part will be on my faith. So just enjoy it. You ready? In the name of Jesus, I command this leg grow now, and Lord, let her feel it grow. There it begins. <laughs> Feel that, don't you? Mm -hmm. See what happens when you relax? Now here comes part two. This will be on my faith. Just relax. You ready? You demonic power holding the spine out of her body and stay gone by the authority of Jesus' name. And I command you spine to go into place right now. Don't pray. Don't try to believe. Just tell me when you feel the movement. Feel me pushing? Mm -hmm. What kind of movement you feeling on the right side? I just feel like a push on my right pelvic side because they diagnosed it on this side that it's bent towards this, it's going over on this side. That's what makes it high. Excellent. So it's going in. Yes? Okay, just stay right with it. Can I get some people to pray in the Holy Spirit? Yeah, focus on it moving in. Still moving? I command you spine go into place. What's happening now? It's kind of, I just feel it kind of like leveling out. Stand up. Let's check. Let's see. There's a test that they do called, like, this is a test where they you put your hands over. Well, do it. And then it's like a hump will show. <coughs> do it. Hey, Mama, come here. Does Mama know you're back? Yes, sir. Good. Let's have Mama check. But she can give us an honest appraisal. Yes. Thank you, brother. Come on, mama. Check her back. Tell us if it's a real change or not. Or if, a, if it is a change, how much? Feel the change. There is a change? Yes. What's the change? It's straightened up. It is straightened up? Yeah, I mean, it's not. Has Daddy checked it before? Come on, Daddy. Give an honest report. Check her, Daddy. Lay your hands. Check her. He's 
better medical. No, that's why I'm saying daddy ought to do it. See, if we have a change, and if so, how much? There's some change, yeah. Some change, but it's not total complete, is it? Okay. Right here. It's some change, but it's not complete, is it, Dad? Because I didn't feel it was complete. I felt we had movement, but not complete. Okay, stand up. Face us. There is some change. But it's not finished. See, one of the things I've learned, and I felt that it wasn't totally complete. I, I could feel that there was change, and, uh, but I felt it wasn't done. But it's better, I can tell by my physical eyes, because this part is actually straighter. You can tell that. So can I get you to come tonight? I'm gonna pray for you again. Now, let me tell you my philosophy. Sometimes God heals people in stages. When it's a miracle, it's like all at once. But when it's a healing, sometimes it happens in stages. In fact, let me give this to you in the Greek. When it says, you lay hands upon the sick and they shall recover, the Greek word for recover means they get better and better until they're completely well. Okay? So, what we're going to do is we're going to pray some more. Lord, let your power work in her body, straightening her more and more to its complete. I release healing power. Lord, let her continue to experience movement until it's completely the way it's supposed to be in Jesus' name. What time is it? 12 o'clock. Okay, can you give me a couple more minutes? Okay. This is not a revelation. This is asking for information. Wait a minute. The sister with the uh, kidneys, are you in pain? Somebody bring her up. Will her up. <laughs> there were some people who attended the uh, prophetic thing who I promised to pray for. Are a couple of people, are you here? <coughs> Come on up. Come on up, please. Come on up. <coughs> What's the doctor say? It's a seventy percent chance that I could lose my kid. Are you on dialysis or anything? Okay. And it hurts now? Yes. How come you're in a wheelchair? It's hard for me to move and stand up for a long period of time. Um, I'm asking questions. This is not revelation. I'm just asking. Okay. Um, where you go, church? No way I am. Um, did you ever give your heart to the Lord at one time? Yes. Did you kind of get away from the Lord? Yes. Do you need to come back to the Lord? Yes. Do you need to do that today? Yes. Do you need to forgive some people? Yes. Do you have any kids? Yes. Do you have any kids you need to forgive? Yes. Because they haven't been there for you? Yes. I need you to do that now. Okay. Hey. Lord I need, I need you to say, Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. I forgive. I forgive. Everybody in my family. Everybody in my family. Who has not been there for me. Has not been there for me. I forgive them, Lord. I forgive them, Lord. Right now. Right now. And Lord, I've been sinning. <laughs> Lord, I've been sinning. I repent. I repent. I've not served you, Lord. I've not served you, Lord. But I repent. But I repent. I promise from this day forward, Lord. I promise from this day forward. From the rest to the rest of my life. To the rest of my life. I'll serve you, Lord. I will serve you, Lord. Forgive me. Forgive me. I let go of sin. I let go of sin. I put it away. I put it away. Every bit of bitterness. Every bit of bitterness. I put it away. I put it away. All unforgiveness. All unforgiveness. I put it away. I put it away. All resentment.